let's jump right into our lead story here regarding Democrats demanding more gun control just mere hours after the Highland Park shooting. If you recall in yesterday's episode, we talked about the 4th of July parade shooting where this evil scumbag has now killed seven people and injured many, many more. And Democrats, with their pent up emotion because they don't like to utilize rationale, maybe rationale combined with their emotion, they just want to use raw emotion, come out all over the airwaves and start pushing gun control measures, trying to capitalize on something terrible to push a certain narrative. It says here, it took just hours for Democrats to call for gun control Monday in the wake of a mass shooting during a July 4th parade in Highland Park, Illinois. A shooter fired at the holiday parade from a rooftop, killing seven people and wounding at least two dozen others. This took place during the morning. Democrats called for a new gun control measure within hours of the shooting. On CNN, they were talking about Congress needs to take action on universal background checks and and making trafficking of guns across state lines illegal, all sorts of things. Let's go ahead and roll the tape. Um, uh, we need help, and, and Congress needs to take action, uh, whether it's uh, universal background, things that 90% of the country support, universal background checks, uh, making trafficking of guns across state lines illegal, straightforward things we can do that can respect the Second Amendment, but also keep our kids, our schools, our theaters, our community safer. Uh, we need to act, and we need to act soon. The reason why they're talking about making it illegal to bring guns across state lines is because Illinois has one of the most strict gun laws in the union. And so a lot of people go to Indiana and the nearby states to purchase their firearms, and then they'll bring it over through state lines because they want to protect themselves and also utilize their Second Amendment right. But Democrats don't want that, which is why you have an escalation of crime happening in places like Chicago, all across Illinois, because people are buying them illegally and then committing crimes with those guns, as you would imagine. You would think that you would supply your citizens with guns so they could protect themselves and their families from getting murdered, being robbed, having their, their vehicles stolen. We did all sorts of data points on yesterday's episode, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now, that wasn't the end of it. You had the Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois coming out and saying, we need to get rid of assault weapons altogether. We have to do more to keep our community safe. We have to get rid of assault weapons, high-capacity magazines, and so many other additional common sense reforms that wide majorities of Americans are crying out for. As I've pointed out many of times and other conservatives and Republicans, they can't mention what the heck an assault weapon is. If you look at Gavin Newsom of California holding the AR-15 like an idiot, he says it's a weapon of mass destruction. It's a weapon of war. Mind you, the AR-15 isn't used by the military. It is not by definition a weapon of mass destruction, but Democrats think they think it is. If you look in the comment section of that short that I put out with him, they're all saying it's a weapon of mass destruction because it kills many people as if a, a handgun doesn't do that or a pistol. So is a pistol a weapon of mass destruction because more mass shootings are used using pistols than rifles is a shotgun a weapon of mass destruction then are all weapons of mass destruction. It's ludicrous coming from the Democrat party. It's almost impossible to try to have a rational conversation with them because they again, they use emotions. Have you ever tried to have a conversation with your wife or husband and they're so pent up with all this anger or whatever it may be in terms of emotion and you can't even have a conversation with them? That's exactly what's going on here. You also have Democratic governor of Illinois jumping in the mix, calling for more gun control in the aftermath of the shooting, saying this. Mass shootings have become our weekly, yes, weekly American tradition. There are going to be people who say that today is not the day. That now is not the time to talk about guns. I'm telling you, there is no better day and no better time than right here and right now. And you think that would be the end of it, right? You think, oh, well, I get it. Those are all local people. You're know, trying to represent their states and, and talk, talk to their constituents and all those things. Well, no, 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 no. Other Democrats took to social media to demand gun control in a few hours after the shooting as well. You have Democratic representative of New York saying reform our gun laws. You also have Eric Swalwell of California, my home state, labeling the National Rifle Association as evil and a terrorist organization. You have a Democratic representative of New Jersey saying ban military weapons off our streets. Again, the AR-15 is not a military weapon. They can't get it through their, their freaking head. I mean, are you going to talk about a, a, a Glock or 
you know, a Smith and Wesson. I don't know which firearm nowadays certain uh, branches of the military use in terms of handguns. Are we talking about banning those? They have knives in the military as well. Are we going to ban those too? So when you say military war weapons, nobody knows what the hell you mean. But again, I'm not even so sure they know what it means either. The Supreme Court sent multiple cases involving semi-automatic rifles and high-capacity magazines back to lower courts for review Thursday after issuing a 6-3 ruling in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association that struck down New Jersey's requirement that applicants show good cause to obtain a concealed carry permit. And they all lost their minds over this because this New York uh, Rifle and Pistol Association that the strike down that Supreme Court put in place impacted us in California and other leftist dominated areas because if we wanted to get a concealed carry permit, we had to show good cause. We had to show proof. And then you had to have your localities, the county you live in, basically grant you authorization to be able to carry a firearm in public so that you can utilize your Second Amendment right and protect yourself against a bunch of nutsos. Mind you, if you look at Los Angeles County where they have smash and grabs, thefts, robberies, rapes, all sorts of things happening left and right and not being prosecuted for it, by the way, because of our attorney general that we have in the state sucks or rather the county sucks. You could barely even get a concealed carry permit in Los Angeles. Mind you, Los Angeles has a massive homeless population. They'll come after you. There's been accounts of stabbings, murders. You also have the, the southern border right there. We got immigrants pouring across the U.S.-Mexico border. And some of those immigrants are crime ridden. You got murderers, second degree murders being apprehended. You have fentanyl, drug cartel, MS-13 gang members who just got busted for murdering a bunch of people. But we're not going to allow people to carry their arms in public because you got some evil people that go out and commit heinous crimes. If they didn't use a long rifle, if they didn't use a rifle, if they didn't use a shotgun, they might use a handgun. We've seen handgun used in mass shootings. Like I said, the vast majority of shootings that take place that are categorized by mass shootings are done with handguns, but they don't want to have that conversation, which shows right there they have no rationale. There's no connection to any of this. They don't understand how weapons work. Again, I'm going to utilize this multiple times. Case in point, Gavin Newsom in California didn't check, didn't check the chamber, didn't check to see if there was a, a, a bullet in it. Didn't check and show the camera, put it facing all his crew, just completely mishandling that firearm in public view. Furthermore, you have Joe Biden saying a nine millimeter is going to blow your lung out of the body. You have Whoopi Goldberg on the view saying an AR-15 round is going to blow you to dust. But they don't ever talk about any of the other rifles that utilize the same caliber as an AR-15. Should we ban those two? They don't want that conversation. The gun just looks scary to them. But there you have it. Democrats, with all this emotion are going to utilize all these shootings to push some sort of gun control measure that only impacts law-abiding citizens, but does not impact criminals that are going to get their hands on the weapon to commit a heinous crime, regardless of what our outcome happens in Congress, in our legislative branches within our states. So we always get screwed. Democrats are going to push this narrative because let's face it, they just want to get rid of guns in general. They say start with the AR-15. The reason why they're going to say start with the AR-15 because there's no end to it and where they would like to end with it is no guns in general, which just isn't happening. You got over 300 million guns in this country. You're not going to remove it from the hands of citizens. We have a right to bear arms. They don't agree with it. They don't like our Bill of Rights. They don't like the Constitution. We've done multiple episodes here. We've done multiple video clips of them saying as much. They want to destroy it. They want to remove it. They want to tear this country from the, from the ground up and start it over, rebuild it. If you don't like it, I don't understand why you would live here in the first place. That's always my question. If you hate it so much, then why don't you leave? The reason why, this country is so great that those that hate it won't leave it. That's how great we are as a nation. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.